going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Surfer's Cove. Since last time, I went ahead and took care of a couple things. Uh, you can see we now have benches and trash cans throughout the park, and we also have a few more staff members that are assigned to the areas that we need them in. Um, we don't have a ton of money right now, but we still have another eight grand that we can take out, so I'm not going to let our little funds limit us on what we build this episode. I do want to add another coaster in, but I also think we need to get a couple more uh, smaller rides. Some of our gentle rides. We don't have any thrill rides that we haven't built yet, so we're kind of stuck with gentle rides. And I'm feeling like a chairlift could be something really good and easy to add to this park. So I might actually build one of these this episode if we have the money for it. Um, but I want to start off with an observation tower. I was kind of scouting out a spot for this. And I think right here is perfect. It's right near the front. It sits right on the cliffside, which I think looks pretty cool. And it'll be really easy to run our uh, entrance and exit to and from as well, which is always nice. Uh, so we'll make this, as always, or almost always, our max height. Because I think that would just be so cool looking, like right on the ocean. Just being able to look out as far as you, the eye can see, just out into the water. I think that could be really cool. Um, and also it makes us more money, mainly that one. But we'll run this. I think I want to run it here. And the exit we can do, we should be able to run it on this backside here. That should work for us, no problem. And that also gives us one more access point to get to our info kiosk, which is kind of cool. I always like that. Is this going to get rid of all the... Yes, it is. All the little fencing there. I'll see if I can re-add that. I don't believe I can, but... It's not horrible looking if that's not the case. Because the fence or the hand railing kind of acts as the same thing. Uh, okay. We'll test and open Tower 1, which we're going to end up naming... Dawn Patrol. <laughs> and Dawn Patrol is like... It's a term used for people... Or like the type of people who get up at the crack of dawn and go surfing. They're known as the Dawn Patrol. <laughs> which I think sounds kind of cool. And with a nice view of the sunrise from all the way up top. That's kind of where I got the name Dawn Patrol. And I actually kind of like this paint job already. The yellow or goldish and white looks kind of like dawn, like the sun's rising. I think that looks really cool. Um, on this, I want to try... No. What? It was that before? What if we do a yellow on this one? Make that pop a little bit more? Ooh, I think I like that. Awesome. Awesome. And we're going to charge definitely more than this. 240. That's a good size line, too. I'm really pleased with that. That, that will work out very nicely for that. Um, and then we'll grab our mechanic from over here, since he's not doing too much right now. And have him come over this direction and cover that. Ooh, we just got a hedge maze, too. That could be... That could be nice if we could find a spot for it. Um, I want to go ahead and expand our park out a little bit. We have plenty of room to build stuff up top still. But some things I think are going to look better on the lower level, which I've discussed a little bit about building. Um, and I've got two places in mind for where I want to start it. I don't know if I want to take it out from here or from here. Um, let's do here. And this is kind of what I had in mind. Just kind of running it alongside all the way to not quite water level, but like one above. I think that could look kind of cool. I'd run this. Actually, I think two above might look nicer. Yeah, we'll do that. And we kind of run, run this along. We'll just run it all the way to here for the time being. But I think that looks kind of cool. Now that I'm seeing this, I think it would look better if we brought it in at this section. 
just so it kind of hugs the uh, the shape of the cliffside here. I think that looks... Yeah, I like that. All right. And then we can actually build stuff down here now that we have this. And I thought doing a Ferris wheel down here would be perfect because it... I don't know if you've ever been to like a boardwalk or anything. Oftentimes, there's some sort of Ferris wheel. And it's not going to look perfect because it's going to be lower than everything unless no I don't want to put it on supports out of the water I think that's going to look kind of strange um, we'll do this kind of here and we'll do the entrance and exit yeah that'll that'll work uh, the line's not going to be super long because we don't have the room to do it <laughs> but that's okay and this needs to go like that, I think. That should connect up just fine. Oh, you can't even see it. See, that's kind of cool from this angle. Like, looking out over the ledge, you can see over the top of the Ferris wheel. I think that's really cool looking. That could just be me, but I like that. We're going to keep that. Not that I am known for moving rides once I built them, or once I build them, but <laughs> whatever. All right, Ferris wheel one, test open as always, and we're gonna up the rotations to four. I think the max is eight, but we're gonna do four because that sounds like a good number. And the paint job looks pretty cool, actually. I kind of really like that. Uh, we might change the support to like a blue, white, and gold. That's kind of cool looking. Or what if we do white here and then a blue here? No, I think I like the other way better. That's kind of cool. What if we do like a gray here? Ooh. Or gold? Or blue? Guys, I don't know. We're going to do blue. Actually, let's make it the color of the water. I think that could blend in kind of nice. And it makes it... It fits better, I think, being right on the water. All right, we can charge 160, which is not a lot, but it's a Ferris wheel. I don't care. Okay, we're going to name this one. Um, I don't have a name planned for this one, actually. Uh, but I did mention it being sort of on a boardwalk. So let's name it Boardwalk. Um, I'm trying to think of like a B, a B word for a circle. Barreler? I don't know if... Bear... Barreler? I don't know. Barreler. Boardwalk Barreler. <laughs> I think that sounds kind of cool. Even if it's not spelt right. Um... Yeah. That's going to do it for the Ferris wheel. Alright. Now that we've got this section down here... It makes it a little bit easier for me to envision doing stuff underground. Now that I can kind of see where we have the room to take it out. Um, can we purchase any land in this park? I don't really want to purchase any land. I want the ability to construct stuff above it, which we can't do. Okay, never mind. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a ride coming from, you know, out from the cliffside and around the Ferris wheel. But this is up against the edge of our park, so that won't be happening, unfortunately. Um, let's add one more small thing. I'm thinking a hedge maze, and then we'll take out a loan, and we'll build a coaster. I'm not sure which one yet. Ooh, and now that we have this lower section, we can also very easily do a boat hire, which is something we're going to do right now, actually. <laughs> so we'll do a boat hire and a hedge maze, I think, and call it good. Um, the downside to this is the lines are going to be... You know, we'll actually make this one into a, a path. Um, otherwise, I could definitely see people having issues and not being able to get back. <laughs> Guests seem to have very poor navigation skills when it comes to that. Ooh, what if we run this? Oh, that doesn't look good. Never mind. I was hoping it would um, 
keep the edges there and just run in the middle like some other rides do. But that's not the case. Um, and this is also going to pose an issue in that the walkways are going to slightly conflict, I think. No, jeez, I can't build. Okay, if we do... Sorry, I'm trying to line up where our exit and entrance are going to go. This could very well not work at all once I uh, add the entrance and exits. So we do the entrance there, the exit there, and I'm pretty sh Yeah, that's not going to work. I know this isn't the wrong or isn't the right type, but okay. So we can make that work. We just have to kind of modify how this looks. So if we bring that kind of around on both sides, that looks kind of cool, actually. We will probably expand this out, so I will fix that at some point because right now it looks not so great and then this can just go flat here and connect on the inside how does that look pretty good actually um, I'd actually rather have this happening and get rid of that not what I meant to do there <laughs> oh my gosh come on go where I want there we go I think that looks a little bit better not having we'll actually get rid of these now too <laughs> not having that little unsupported piece right there i think that looks a lot better all right what are our options for this rowing boats and canoes rowing boats definitely seem more oshi or ocean friendly i was gonna say oceanic um but yeah i think we'll just stick with the rowing boats i think that'll look nice and for the color scheme on this one, sorry, I was seeing if we had any entrance styles we could do, and we don't really. Um, what is, ooh, that looks awful. <laughs> That's not what I meant to click. We'll do a brown boat with white seats. Yeah, I like that. That's, that, that's pretty. And then for this, let's do white everything. I kind of like that. Yeah, we're going to do that. And for these boats... Yeah, that's better. Isn't it always, though? <laughs> I seem to always choose that color instead of the other browns. Because I just like it so much more. Okay. Um... Man, the names I've got in this list that I have in front of me are just so <laughs> ridiculous. Um, let's actually... Ooh. We're gonna change the color scheme slightly, because I think it'll... It'll end up working better. We're gonna make the whole ride gray. Everything else will stay the same. We're gonna name this one... Gray Belly. Gray Belly is a term for old people who still surf. <laughs> so, when the elderly surf... The kids call them gray bellies, I guess. I think it's for a man. I don't know if it's gender specific. But anyway, that's what that term is. <laughs> this list I found is totally ridiculous. And I'm just now realizing I forgot to link it in the last or the first episode on this park. So I will make sure to go back and update that as well as add it to the, to the description of this video in case any of you are interested in that. Oh, right. One more small thing and then it is coaster time i don't know where i want to do this we don't have a ton of flat space why is this guy lost go buy a map dude this park is not big not at all um do we have any room over here no not really um you know what uh where can this go could I do it entirely underground? I could, but I don't think I want to. You know what? We're going to scrap the maze. I don't think we're going to do a maze here. Let's get into the coaster instead. So we've got a couple options. This is way too expensive, so we're not doing that. Um, I want to do something 
kind of exciting, but not too expensive. So I'm thinking our best bet is a steel mini at this point. <laughs> Dude, where's my ship? It's broken down. Yeah, let's go with a steel mini. Um, and I want to build just one little bit so I can see what we have. Okay, so we can do rocket, log, or spinning. I'm thinking just the regular kind would look good in this park. The rocket really doesn't... Actually, no, we're doing rocket. The first episode, I said that this park reminded me of rocket power, so that's only fitting, right? <laughs> All right, we're going to design this with rocket cars in mind, which means absolutely nothing. It's the same as designing it with ladybird cars in mind. Okay, can we do this here? If we run this all along this, one, it looks really cool. We can do the exit right there, the entrance right here, and then run the path or the line kind of all the way down and over. I think that could work. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's going to be cool. Oh, yeah. That's a cool start. I like that. All right. So my kind of plan for this is to not have any chain lifts until the very end. Um, that'll keep me or that'll kind of force me to keep it somewhat shorter instead of just adding a bunch of chain lifts throughout. Can I do one further? There we go. Okay. So we're going to go underground a little bit on this one. Not too much, but just enough. Oh, I'm pressing buttons. I don't mean to. If we do that, it should line us up. Perfect. Okay. Oh, this is going to be cool. I love starting coasters just with a drop and then doing all the cool stuff. Can we go underground here? No, absolutely not. <laughs> okay, so we started at 15. If we go up to 12 and do kind of a steep drop through that, can we clear all this still? It looks like we can, which is perfect. But I don't want to run this just continually straight because it's going to be in the way of pretty much everything. That looks really cool, though. Oh, we're going to... Oh, we're running into roller coaster. Oops. So if we go straight for one more... Oh, that's perfect. I really like that. Okay, cool. Um, We'll do a helix up that's expensive that's very expensive and then a helix up small we just got circus show what is that we are definitely gonna have to check that out that sounds really cool um for the sake of money i want to kind of end this already um so how we're going to do that i'm still not 100 percent sure um so let's not do that instead Hold on. I gotta line this up properly. So if we do two wide ones, that lines us up right with the station here. So if we go straight here instead, and just kind of do a little bit of up and down. And then we can start adding our chain lifts back in. Okay, so we did two wide ones. So instead of that, we turn it for one. Go straight for quite a bit more. So we're at 13 here. Hold on. This is going to have to change a little bit. <laughs> okay. So if we can do that, that puts us at 12. Um, this isn't going to work like I wanted. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to do this in a way that comes out kind of exactly where I need it to. Okay, so that puts us at 12. We do a normal turn there. 
and then chain lift up to 15. Perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I was wanting. That works very nice. And oh my goodness, this looks so trippy. You can't even see the line right here where the land ends and this one begins. So it looks so disorienting. It looks like this is just lacking supports the entire way across. Okay. So for this, we'll do that. And then for the line, I actually want to run it down the side of this. Uh, so we're going to have to get rid of a few trees here. Let's X this out so we can actually see. And then back up. Normally, I don't like this um, kind of V shape in the ground. Normally, I would flatten it out for two. But this path is already like that, and I don't really feel like redoing it. So I'm not going to. Simple as that. <laughs> Okay, where's our mechanic for over here? I think it's this guy. Oh, mechanic one? Is it him? It's not. We have some other guy. Ah, he walked right past it. Look at that. He's already covering it. Perfect. Okay, roller coaster one. Oh, man. I kind of want to name this... <laughs> Bodacious... Bodacious... Bruiser. I just love the word bodacious. It's such a fun word. So we're going to name it Bodacious Bruiser. Uh, bruisers being, what, usually black and purple, kind of? We're going to try to make that our color scheme. So black, blue, and purple. How are so many people lost? I don't get it. He even has a map. Makes no sense. Anyway. Bodacious Bruiser, black, purple, and blue. So we'll probably stick with the black supports. And what if we do like that dark purple? And then a dark blue? What if we swap those? Or maybe we'll try a lighter purple too, because this doesn't really... Ooh, I actually kind of like that. Yeah. It's really just dark across the board, but it looks really good in my opinion. All right, and then maybe we'll try a lighter purple with the lighter blue. Ooh, I think I like that. That looks really cool. Let's see what that looks like on the track. Oh yes, I really like that. Okay, awesome. Four trains, three cars per train. That should be perfect. I hope. Okay, guys, let's test Bodacious Bruiser and see how bodacious it really is. <laughs> Okay, not incredibly bodacious, but that's fine. <laughs> For the budget we were working with, I think that came out just fine. Um, it's not going to be incredibly intense or exciting, but it's going to be a successful coaster with a 5.45 excitement. Oh yeah, that came out real nice. That's pretty much exactly what I was going for. I didn't want it to be too crazy because it ends up getting really expensive if you do that, and you really get diminishing returns on these coasters. The longer you build them doesn't necessarily mean that they're better. Um, I tend to build them longer when I have the money just because it's more fun and you can create something cooler looking, in my opinion. But in these beginning episodes on this park, I think that is just fine. Why is everyone lost? Do I need to add some more kiosks in? Yeah, that's a pretty big gap between those. We'll add another one in here. My goodness, these guests are so bad at finding their way around. You didn't have to go very far from the entrance to get over here. 
Let's make sure everything's open. Yeah, it is. Make sure I opened all my kiosks, which I did. All right, guys. Bodacious Bruiser. Hopefully this lost guest issue rectifies itself soon. But in the time, or for the time being, we're just going to have to kind of deal with it. Oh, when we got balloon stalls. When we get back next time, that's going to be the very first thing we do. Because this park badly needs balloons. But alright guys, thank you very much for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. Sorry for the late upload again. We will resume our normal schedule tomorrow on Wednesday with Stardew Valley. And from that point on, we should be good. The holidays really kind of threw me a curveball as far as my upload schedule. So thank you guys for hanging in there and bearing with me. But alright guys, I will see you in the next one. And until then, as always, take care.